Welcome back students once again to chapter 7 part 3 human settlements. So today we will learn urbanization in India. Okay, so once you watch this video, you will be able to understand the meaning of urbanization. What do we mean by level of urbanization? The trend of urbanization in India, percentage of urban population in different states and union territories of India and factors affecting urbanization. So let's get set go. So let's understand how rural areas got transformed into urban areas and let's understand the meaning of urbanization. Man began to settle in places where conditions for living were favorable. Along with development in agriculture, small settlements grew into large ones. Industries based on and supporting agriculture started to develop here. People from neighboring areas started migrating to these places on account of the agricultural and industrial development. Thus, the population of the original settlement grew. Along with this, roads, hospitals, administrative offices, banks, markets, hotels, shops, communications and Transport services also developed. Kram Panchayat gave way to municipal corporation. All this led to the transformation of rural settlements into urban settlements. Thus, urbanize, urbanization means population shift from rural to urban areas. Urbanization is the process whereby an increasing proportion of population in a geographical area lives in urban settlements. So let's understand the criteria for urban areas. In 1961, the census of India had decided to define urban based on the following criteria more than 75% of the male working population should be engaged in non-agricultural occupations. The population of the settlement should be more than 5,000. The population density of the settlement should be more than 400 persons per square kilometer. That is in one square kilometer. Okay, the population should be 400 persons. 400 persons. Now, let's understand what do we mean by level of urbanization. The level of urbanization means the percentage of people already considered urban. Now, how it is calculated? Level of urbanization is equal to urban population upon total population into 100. Now that we are clear with the concept of urbanization and the meaning of level of urbanization, let's study figure 7.5 given on page number 48 of our textbook. Now, the figure, okay, they've given a line graph. 
So on the x-axis we have number of years. 2 cm is equal to 10 years. On the y-axis we have percentage of urban population where 1 cm is equal to 5%. Now in 1961 the percentage of urban population was 18. In 1971 it was 18.2. In 1981 it was 23.3. In 1991, it was 25.7. In 2001, 27.8. And in 2011, the percentage of urban population grew up to 31.2. So let's answer the first question. What was the percentage of urbanization in 1961? So it's very easy. The percentage of urbanization in 1961 was 18. Second question, in which decade was urbanization the highest? Now, to get the answer to this question, we need to subtract percentage of urban population in 1961, which is 18 from 1971, which is 18.2. So when we subtract 18 from 18.2, we get 0.2. When we subtract 18.2 from 23.3, we get 5.1. Then we get, when we follow the same instructions, okay, we get 2.4 year, we get 2.1 year, and we get 3.4 year. So with this figures, what do we understand? That uh, in the decade between 1961 and 1971, the population, the urban population grew by 0.2% then from 1971 to 1981 the percentage of urban population grew by 5.1 then it grew by 2.4% between 1981 to 1991 and from 1991 to 2001 it grew by 21 2.1% I'm sorry and from 2001 to 2011 the urban population grew by 3.4% now they are asking us in which decade was urbanization the highest. So we see here 5.1. Okay, so the decade uh, between 1971 to 1981, the urban population was, the percentage of urban population was the highest. The next question, in which decade was the growth of urbanization lowest? So the lowest urbanization we see here. So, the decade between 1961 to 1971, the growth of urbanization was lowest. The next question, what interference can you draw regarding India's urbanization after reading the graph? Now, what do we see here in the graph? That India's urban population okay, is growing. Okay, but it's not growing very fast. It's growing at a very steady, slow and steady pace. Okay, but yes, it is growing positively. So, what do we what do we answer? Although the growth of urbanization in India is slow, we see a constant positive growth in the percentage of urban population in India. That's from figure 7.5, we understand that urbanization in India is slow. The level of urbanization in 2011 in India was 31.6%. Places with more urbanization are Goa, which has 62% of population living in urban areas. Delhi and Chandigarh have more than 80% of population living in urban areas. We have states like Tamil Nadu, Maharashtra, Gujarat and Kerala which have population between 41 to 60% 60, 60 living in urban areas. Places with less urbanization are mostly the northern states like Himachal Pradesh, Bihar, Assam, Odisha. Then we have Jammu and Kashmir, Uttarakhand and Rajasthan.
Now, let's move on. Why urbanization has been more in the southern part of India than in the northern part of India. Now, urbanization, we all know, is highly influenced by physical factors such as the topography, climate, and soil. The major three components affecting rapid urbanization in India are natural population growth, okay, which includes uh, social, economic, and environmental factors, reclassification of rural areas as urban, which we've already seen, and net migration of people from rural to urban areas. The physical growth of urban areas is linked to modernization, industrialization, and setting up new industrial towns, particularly post-independence period. The northern states, for example, the Himalayas, have hilly terrain and extreme cold climate, while the southern states like Kerala have hot and humid climate and fertile soil. In Kerala, commercial crops such as coffee, pepper, rubber, coconut, etc. dominate its agriculture. The predominance of the secondary and the service sectors such as tourism, technical education, healthcare, etc. has grown in the southern states while the agricultural sector remains more important than the industrial sector in all the northern in most of the northern states of india that's the reason urbanization is more in the southern part of india than in the northern part of india now amongst all the states and union territories the national capital capital territory of india and the union territory of chandigarh are most urbanized we have just seen they've got 80% of population living living in urban areas. Now, why is it so? Chandigarh being the capital of two states, Punjab and Haryana, is one of the early planned cities in post-independence, independent India, and is internationally known for its architecture and urban design. Factors like rapid growth in service sectors such as IT, telecommunications, hotels, banking, media, tourism, etc., migration, expansion of government service amenities, etc., have led to the urbanization in Delhi. Did, do you know the Indian subcontinent has a long history since ancient times? Since ages, the population of this country is living in river basins, on plateaus and mountains. Indraprasth, Delhi, Mithila, Varanasi, Harappa, Mohenjadaro, Ujjain, Pratishthan or Python were the urban settlements of earlier times. This shows that India has a great tradition of urbanization. Towards the end of this topic, they have asked us to prepare a choropleth map showing urban population using the data given in the below table. Okay, now before drawing a map, okay, we need to follow some things. We need to write the title of the map. We need to show the index of that map. And also we need to show the direction. So let's first study, understand this table. Now, if you see here, uh, they have shown the urban population in percentage. So states which have an urban population between 0 to 20 percent, okay, are Himachal Pradesh, Bihar, Assam and Odisha. Then they have shown states which have an urban population between 21 to 40%. Then we have states with 41 to 60% of urban population, 61 to 80% and then 81 to 100%. So let's start with the Koroplet map. Okay, so this Himachal Pradesh, Bihar, Assam and Odisha have a population 
urban population between 0 to 20 percent. Then we have Meghalaya, Uttar Pradesh, Arunachal Pradesh, Chhattisgarh, Jharkhand, Rajasthan, Sikkim, Tripura, Jammu and Kashmir, Nagaland, Manipur, Uttarakhand, West Bengal, Andhra Pradesh, Haryana, Andaman and Nicobar Islands, Punjab, Karnataka, Madhya Pradesh, and Telangana with urban population ranging from 21 to 40 percent. We have states of Gujarat, Maharashtra, Dadra and Nagar Haveli, Kerala, Tamil Nadu, Mizoram, have an urban population ranging from 41 to 60 percent. Then we have Goa, Puducherry, Damanandiu, Lakshwadweep, which have a population of 61 to 80 percent. Then we have Chandigarh. N city of Delhi, which have a population between 81 to 100 percent. With this children, we have come to an end of our today's topic. Hope you have understood. Thank you. Stay home. Stay safe. Goodbye.